extras. In this video I'm just going to quickly show you how you can add multiple backgrounds in CSS onto web pages. There's, of course, I'm certain there's many different ways. This is one way of doing it. So what I've got, I've got this little logo here, company logo, graphic extras, and I've got a background zebra, mainly because I've just released a pack of zebra brushes. So I've got that design. Now within the code, if I just go over here, tools, web developer, and page source, just bring that up. You'll actually see there's the CSS file there, link, just a standard CSS file that I use in my code. Just going to the CSS, just going to go there, and I've got it within the body. That's where I actually, now I'm certain that uh, there'll be people that puts it in completely different elements, but that's what I do, put it on the body, and background. I'm just going to use background. Now the logo, now the logo, the top, top one there goes first, so it's, that's the first element, and then the background, which is the zebra, is the next element. So if you had, say, another item that's on top of that logo, you'd put it in this section just down this bit. So it just follows with the background, and you have the earl, so you actually give the earl structure there. I like to have it an absolute address, and then space, and then no repeat. So I've just given it once. Then I have a comma, just put a comma between those, and then that's the background, and I repeat with the no hyphen repeat. Now, if you actually want to position it, so say you want to push it, position it 200 pixels and 400 pixels. So I'm just going to do that logo instead of, so I'm saving that, and now put that. This is in Dreamweaver, so I just put that file, and now I actually go like that. You can see it suddenly jumps down here. Obviously, I'm not going to keep that because this is my uh, website. So, but that's so you can quickly change the position of the logo. I'll just put that back. Anyway, 